do you want to work in other Caribbean islands but you don't even know where to start did you know that you can work in 12 of the CARICOM member states well if this interests you friends go grab a coffee some juice or some water and mind your business and come and listen to this very informative video hey friends welcome back to the channel for my loyal subscribers thank you for always turning up if you're new here hey my name is Josan and you know what they say about the best things in life right let's get right into the video so today we are talking about how to work in other Caribbean countries that are within the CARICOM right this is the CSME edition what is CSME so CSME refers to the CARICOM single market and economy it operates as the name suggests as a single market and it involves 12 member states where citizens from any of these 12 member states can actually work and or even own a business in another Caribbean country like how cool is that second question what does the single market include so according to the Trinidad and Tobago Ministry of Foreign and Caricom Affairs website it includes five tenants the free movement of skills and labor this free movement of goods the free movement of services the free movement of capital and the right of establishment so essentially you can work in a very non-restricted way and you can move jobs as many times as you like as long as you have this CSME certificate you are granted in your passport what is called a indefinite stamp you can buy and rent commercial and residential property your spouse and your immediate dependents can actually migrate with you how awesome is that and best of all you don't need to apply for a work permit permit because you know a work permit has its own set of limitations who apply for csme artists musicians sports personnel media personnel and university graduates of note the first four categories that I mentioned you have to actually prove that you are an artist or that you are a musician you can't just pick up one day and listen to this wonderful video and say you know what I'm gonna apply for my CSME skills certificate under the regime of artists no it doesn't work like that you have to actually prove that you're an artist way long before which islands are part of the csme as i mentioned before there are 12 member states and they include antigua antigua and barbuda barbados belize dominica grenada guyana jamaica st kitts and nevis st lucia st vincent and the grenadines Trinidad and Tobago and Suriname how do you apply for your skills your CSME skills certificate well I did my application process in Trinidad and Tobago and I went to Jamaica to fulfill that um, component of it so that is what I would be referring to in this video so in Trinidad and Tobago you can apply at the Ministry of Foreign and CARICOM Affairs what do you need you need the originals of the following as well as six copies photocopies of same so the first thing you would need is a police certificate of character now what procedure is for you to go through the commissioner and the link is in the description box down below the second thing you would need is a letter of authenticity from the Accreditation Council of Trinidad and Tobago. What you can do is call the Ministry of Foreign and Caricom Affairs and just find out if you need a accreditation letter just to ensure that your application is not delayed when you do go to hand in. Third thing you would need a photocopy of is the bio data page in a valid passport please guys just if you're going away just check the expiration date in your passport like check it please just please the fourth thing you would need is your certificates to indicate that you are applying in the correct category and that you're not a scammer 
So the link, as I said, is in the description box down below. Next question I have here, how long does it take to receive your CSME skills certificate? It takes six to eight weeks according to the website and applicants are informed that they would receive an email or telephone call when their skills certificate is ready. Pro tip, call at the six week mark just to ensure that your, your skill certificate is not there and waiting and ready for you. The ministry is a very busy place and it has a lot of things to do. So just take it upon yourself. It's for you, just take it upon yourself to call at the six week mark and see if it's ready. What is the cost of the CSME certificate? So, in Trinidad and Tobago, in 2019, it was free. On their website, I checked what last week, it does not have a cost associated with it. However, when you go to Jamaica, or if you are from Jamaica, you know most things there are not free. So, in Jamaica, it is not free. There's an application fee of 2,000 Jamaican dollars. The cost of the certificate is 8,000 Jamaican dollars. The cost for each dependent is actually 2,000 Jamaican dollars. So if you don't have any dependents, the total cost for you, for one person would be 10,000 Jamaican dollars. And the, the link for the cost and the information with regard to Jamaica. If you're listening to me from Jamaica, this is the cost and the application form and everything you would find it on their website so you received your csme certificate what is next the next step is a verification not completing the verification step in the allotted time this is the funny not so funny part cost me sixty thousand jamaican dollars and it hurt and it hurt and it hurt and it still hurts so what are the steps for verification well you got your skills certificate congratulations you're moving to a new country so you book your ticket to your new host country on landing you receive a six month grace period right to get your certificate um, verified to settle in and all of that jazz in Jamaica I'm, I, I only know about Jamaica so I'm gonna tell you about Jamaica in Jamaica you have to get it verified by the Ministry of Labor and Social Security the verification process takes about four weeks after verification you can then go to the immigration department which is called the passport immigration and citizenship agency um, also called PICA and you apply for what is called unconditional landing this is a same day process and the waiting time is perhaps less than an hour which is very impressive on a good day when I went it was it wasn't long the waiting time wasn't long I had to wait outside due to the whole COVID-19 um, restrictions and that was about let's say 20 minutes by the time i got inside and waited it was about half an hour and by the time they took my they take your passport they take your passport and they give you a very simple stamp. what the unconditional stamp looks like in your passport this is what the csme skill certificate looks like right and this is renewed when your passport is renewed yes if you complete your verification process within six months you only have to pay ten thousand jamaican dollars to get your unconditional landing stamp but because i went way over that time yeah you know the rest so don't be like me Get your stuff sorted out way before your six months come to an end. And the link for Pico, Jamaica, is in the description box down below. And that's it, folks. Very short and sweet. That's how I like to keep it. See you guys until next time. Bye.